Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Snatch Chat, where I'm here to help you lose fat but not your mind. I'm Tiffany, certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist, and your body snatcher. And today we are in week two of the new year, if you're watching this on time, but it does apply to any time during the year. Uh, so one of the things that people do, of course, in the new year is try to implement things that are going to help them with their fat loss. And so today, I'm going to talk about workouts, okay, and what you can do to or at least add or change in your routine that will really up your odds of reaching your fat loss goals. So I'm going to get into that today, but before I do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, press like on the video if you like it. It really does help, you know, the algorithm be doing whatever it want to do. So, you know, help assist out and just press like on the button, okay? Come on, just just a nice little like and follow, follow the channel. Uh, but anyway, so, all right, we're going to get right into it. Just going to cut to the chase. So, um, I will say that... Okay, first of all, you should be strength training. So I know, and this is not really what I'm focusing on today, but I do want to put that out there as the first thing. If you're one of those people that is not strength training, that should be definitely one of your first implementations, okay? You need to be strength training. I can't stress it enough. I don't know how we're still, you know, kind of floating around that strength training makes you look bulky and all this and that. Like, I think we all have agreed that we know we've seen <laughs> people who look really great who do strength training. So I think we're all on the boat with that. So I'm not going to go into that today, but I will put it out there for anyone who is a self-proclaimed cardio queen and just wants to put it out that I want to start walking or doing whatever. And walking is great. I'm going to get into that in a second. Okay, so, but let's just, let's just get that out. You have to be doing your strength training. It is going to help you burn a lot of calories, okay? So that's out the way. All right, so my implementation for focus, okay, for this new year, if you are not doing it, is to start doing interval training, okay? So this, this means a lot of things, okay? So a lot of people know what HIT is, so it's high intensity interval training. Uh, so it's a form of, you know, when you think about it, you think of like burpees, then going into jumping jacks, and you think of full body workouts. A really interval training in its like simplest form of how to think of it is basically it's a way of training where you're altering things and you're bringing your heart rate up and down okay and i have another video that kind of goes into interval training i'm going to link it below that talks about the advantages of it and i won't get into that today i'm just going straight to what you should be doing but there are a lot of benefits to interval training okay so my direct recommendation is whatever cardio that you do already to start implementing some intervals into it. So what that could mean is anything. So let's say you're a walker. Let's say you like to walk, you know, with your friend and you guys just go around the block or around the, what's the thing, the track, and you, you just kind of just go with the flow. So what you could do is you could actually use a timing system or you can use a space system or a music-based system or anything that is going to mark the difference between you going at a slower rate or a faster rate. So let's say on the track, you can say, you know what, we're gonna walk the regular pace for like three-fourths of the, the lap or even just half or a fourth or whatever. You pick, you pick the, you know, amount based on your fitness levels and how much you wanna get done for that day. And then you say, but when we get to marker or whatever, we're going to dart. Not, you don't, you don't have to run. You, that's my favorite is the walking and running together. That's what I do all the time. That's the only uh, running I do. I don't do straight running. I don't do sprinting. I just walk 
and then I jog for a certain amount of time, then I walk again, and then I jog for a certain amount of time, and I base that based on the day. Like, do I want to get more running in or do I want to get more walking in? And it always depends on how my body feels and how, <laughs> you know, my what I have to do for the rest of the day or the next day. Of, of course, I have to do training videos and stuff like that. So it's all subjective to what I do, but you can do that as well. You can implement that, um, say, you know what, we're going to brisk walk. So it doesn't even have to be an actual measured thing okay it could literally just be like we're going to regular pace then brisk walk regular pace brisk walk and what that will do is it will get your heart rate up and down up and down because steady state cardio it becomes very mundane and your body starts to adjust to it so intervals is a way to keep your body surprised okay so your body doesn't know what's coming and it's just another one of those you know quick easy ways to avoid the dreaded plateau okay you know that plateau word is thrown around and intervals is a great method for it okay um on the other end if you're a gym goer okay and you like the treadmill that's a really um easy one because you can actually do it with the actual miles per hour so let's say you walk for three miles per hour for a minute and then jog at four or 4.5 or actually run at five or more miles per hour for 30 seconds then come back down walk for a minute and it doesn't have to be a minute or a half a minute it could be two minutes and then 30 seconds or two minutes and one minute like you get it's your world, girl. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so um, what I will say to that, though, is you want to, you know, pay attention so that you'll know if you're advancing. So, you know, um, I don't do it much. I will admit I like to just my cardio for me is just because I know that I need it to burn a certain amount of calories and it's good for my heart health so I don't get really wrapped up on how fast I can go and I'm also an outdoor runner so I don't get super pressed about like how you know fast can I go or how long can I go I use a uh, actual Brooklyn okay <laughs> as my guidance so I pick blocks so I might run a blocks and then you know j walk uh, avenue or I mean they're not really avenues and blocks in Brooklyn but I'm just saying it so people can understand so like I might walk the long way and then jog the short way you know if I'm turning a corner or something you know anyways but you get what I'm saying like you can basically pick it with anything same with my music based cardio which I bring up all the time okay uh, you can put music on dance you know, walk in place or walk and then jog on the chorus, okay? So, yes, but it's all interval training, okay? Uh, don't let these terms, you know, kind of like throw you off and make you feel like they're so, you know, serious and intense. Like, you can adapt these things very, very easily. So, you don't even need to start something new. Uh, just whatever cardio you are doing, okay, and if you're already doing intervals, then your thing would be to do a step up. So just move it up. If you're if you're usually doing a certain pace, then move it up. Challenge your body a little bit. You know, make sure that your body knows that, you know, it, it doesn't know what's coming. Okay. It needs it needs that little shock value. Okay. So yeah, that is my number one recommendation for a new tactic to implement that will really, really aid you in getting that fat burn. I highly suggest you go and watch the intervals video. Like I said, I'll put it in below. Um, I also will link, I happen to have guides on interval training as well, so I will link that. Um, it's mostly for gym goers, uh, but if you are interested in actual like hit and stuff like that, you can also check out my subscription and my membership, okay, and my coaching programs, okay? So yeah, that is it for the day. 
Um, if you are watching this in the new year, I hope it's going well so far. Uh, hang in there. New Year, New Me is very, very challenging for a lot of people. Um, I get it. Clearly, I know because I have to, <laughs> like, you know, interact and deal with people. And I know that by a certain time, you know, the momentum has, has dropped. So, you know, really use this time to your advantage and really, really get it popping. Okay? Get it popping. All right, so that's it for the day. Make sure you go and get your free workouts in the description. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning of the video, but I do have some workouts there if you want to, you know, get started with some strength training. I automatically put intervals in my videos as well, so that's a really great way to get started. And then go check out everything else and then subscribe to the channel. So that is it for the day. Till next time, eat well, drink well, take care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit, and I will see you next time.